Greetings, cutting comrades. Today on the stump, we have the Ronin Katana European Longsword, model number two, again. After getting to know this sword a bit better, it's time to share my thoughts. Although I'm no expert when it comes to any sword, let alone European Longswords, from my position as a consumer, I think they did a great job on this one. Starting with the pommel, you'll notice the recesses that could accommodate weights if you want to pull the balance back a bit. Not sure if that was intended, but a nice feature nonetheless. And that really, that was a nice surprise. Very pleasantly surprised with that one. The grip is cord overlaid with leather. Not, uh, it does become round in the middle there, but as you can see, it's oblong enough on the top and bottom that indexing is not an issue. The guard's simple, yet well done, and I mean, it doesn't cut into your hands, but with a reasonable amount of force behind it and somebody's head in front of it, it definitely do some damage. And got the fucking, I don't know if you can even see it, but let's see. You barely see the pee in there, but although it prevents you from ending them rightly, it will make for a much more durable sword. And after watching all the reviews of all the older iterations of these Ronin Euros, they seem to really have ironed out the, the issues they had with them and whatnot. But onto the scabbard, it's a wood core with leather overlay. Nothing super fancy, but the number one thing I liked about this, regardless of my anarchist leanings, as an American fucking male, when I opened the box, I was greeted with that baseball glove smell that instantly evokes thoughts of careless summer nights playing ball until the streetlights come on. It also comes with a belt that at first I thought was designed for the morbidly obese swordsman, but once I figured it out, it's actually pretty cool. The only downside is I wish that it had a metal throat there to, I don't know, I can see maybe fucking that leather up eventually, but it's also not like going to be doing draw cuts or whatever, so we'll see. May have to fashion a, a metal shape or throat or whatever that's called if i can't find one online now on to the fun part and there's the blade it is 1075 steel which is the same as my munatoshi viper which i've beaten the living fuck out of for six months on a daily basis and if this is tempered anything like that was this should fucking Hold up to my complete lack of HEMA skills. And I mean it flexes. But uh, 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 fuck. It flexes but at the same time is not whippy. The edge has no secondary bevel. And even though it's not katana sharp. It's sharp enough to take off a limb with ease. I'm reasonably confident in that. And the uh, fuller actually give some audible feedback like because this is my first european sword and swinging it like a katana doesn't work very well and freaking trying to figure out edge alignment and whatnot the fuller provides audible feedback so you know you got it right and the nice finish and even fullers are the icing on the cake like i measured them up you know and they actually end at the same point on each side of the blade go fucking figure right the point of balance is a bit far out at six and a quarter inches but as noted before that can be changed if desired and with that we have ronin's redemption gets my slash of approval for sure if you're looking for a European sword, but don't want to cough up the cash for an Albion or a Lockwood, this is definitely a quality, affordable alternative. Have a good one.